Okay, so I have gone to soundtrap.com. I have logged into my account. You'll need to create your own. It is free. It's very simple, takes a second. And what I want to do is enter the studio. This will take just a moment to load. It has a lot of loops. And I don't care about my last draft. I would like to start blank. Something brand new. There's nothing here. There's two places I can go. I can either click Browse Loops, or up here I can click the Music Notes. Either way it will show me. I'm going to get rid of Featured. I want to get a little of everything. The first thing we need for our A section is Beats. So here I can go through. I can preview one. Um, if I like it, I will keep it. If not, keep shopping till you find what you like. Say I love this one. Just double click and it adds it right in there. Now the purple line up at the top is a loop. And right now it's showing me that it is looping eight measures. It will go back and it will continually play that over and over. This is something a lot of um, sound producers, sound engineers will use so they can hear a small part over and over and listen for changes. You don't necessarily need it, but it's kind of nice when you're first doing your A section. Um, so now that we have a beat, the next thing we need is a bass. So I cleared that, clicked bass. Now I can go shopping for a bass. Let's say I like Alarm 3. I will drop it in here as a new track. And you'll see it automatically made it eight measures, just like my other loop, which is wonderful. So I have a beat. I have a bass. Now I need to clear this and get a melody instrument. It's really... Um, choose your own. I like piano, so let's say I want to get a piano here, and i just click and drag this one. Now I don't actually want it to start at the very beginning. I'd like to start it a little bit later, so it will drop it in, and I'm going to have two measures of just beat and bass, and then it will drop in here. Loading try that again. There we go. Now it has extended it. It automatically eight made it eight measures. So if I just grab this loop, I can shorten it to be ending at the same time. So here's what I have so far. Let's say I love it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to turn my looper off now. And I go over to measure nine, the end of my section, and I will click the place head right here. Okay, Then I need to do the exact same thing, but this time I'm looking for a beat that is completely different than A. This is a new section. It should have a different feel. So I'm going to go with Champion 1. I drop it in here at measure 9. And then once again, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has automatically generated 8 measures for me, which is perfect. I have a beat. Next I need to find a bass that is very different. Let's say Cherry 11 is my choice. I have a beat, I have a bass, I still need a melody instrument. Let's go guitar because it needs to contrast. Um, gasoline smoke sounds fun. So here we go. And now you can see I have a complete B section. So since rondo form is A, B, A, C, A, I know my next section is going to be A repeating. It's going to be that familiar. So I'm going to hold down Shift and click each of these. Then I just go Copy, move my place head where I want it to go, and then Paste. And now you can see I have A, B, and another A. So I'm on to my final section here. And again, um, you start right here and just go shopping. Find a new beat. Maybe something completely different. Let's go drums, actual drums. This time I'm going to put this in here and it's getting its own track, a new track. Um, so you can see how many different instruments and tracks we have here. It's quite a bit now. I also need another bass. So here we go. Let's say I love this one. I'm going to start it a little bit later. Maybe two measures in, which means I'll have to shorten it again. We'll go back 
shopping guitar, EDM guitar, and let's go. Electric Pixie, I'm going to start it even later, and I will have to shorten it then so that it's only eight measures and I have a new C section. So all I need to do is go back and paste. Another way to do this, if it's being difficult, is hold down the Option key and you can slide them over while you're holding down Option. And you just have to align it. So I could do that with A. Um, so my finished, once I'm finished then, I will save it. And I'd like to show you a project that I have finished already um, that I can export. Saving, saving. Done, 100%. Let's exit the studio. And I'm going to go back. You can now see I have, it's called <laughs> Abigail Song Number 2. I'm going to go to my first one and open that in the studio. This is one I spent a little bit more time on. Um, if I didn't like a loop, I took it out. I also added some sound effects that you will hear. So you'll notice I have an A, I have a beat, I have a bass, I have an electric guitar and a second electric guitar. I added another instrument, it sounded like it needed it, and I layered them in, just um, again to make it sound a little more interesting. Now, for my B section, I have a beat, a bass, and then um, I have this little dubstep sound that I liked as a little transition. Also gives it a little melody. Then we're back to A. Over here is C, and you can see I have a distorted piano. I have a beat, but I didn't start the beat right away. I started it a little later. This beat, however, is very thin. It started right away. And then I added a little sound effect here again for transition to make it sound different. And finally, here's A again. So we have A, B, A, C, and A. Let's take a listen to this. I just press play. say I love it. The next thing, it is already saved. So what I would like to do is then file export, export project to mp3 file. That's just downloading it right here to my computer, which I can then upload somewhere. I can add it to iTunes. I can share it. right now it's playing in iTunes. And that will be more recently added. So that's how you use Soundtrap to create a Rondo form and export it. Have fun and I look forward to hearing your work.